Welcome everyone into my channel Everything PS. With you MD. If this is your first visit to our channel, make sure to subscribe. And turn on the notification button. Do not forget to leave your feedback and your suggestions down below in the comments. This will help me to improve the content of our channel. Aside from creating text in InDesign. You can also paste text from outside the program. Or place a text file such as a Microsoft Word document. RTF file, plain text file, and more. In this resume document you place a Microsoft Word document that contains the rest of the text. If you want to follow along you can open this file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. When bringing in text from an outside source, you can use the place command to do so. You can place text in an existing text frame, or have InDesign create a text frame as you place the text. To make sure that nothing is selected choose Edit, Deselect All. When placing text if a frame is selected in your InDesign document, by default, the content will be replaced by the text you place. So, the Place to Text Choose file, Place. In the downloadable practice files for this tutorial, select the Import Text Word document. Before clicking Open on Mac, click the Options button and select Show Import Options. On Windows just select Show Import Options if you see it already. Then click Open. Another dialog box will appear where you can change options and how to import the text from. Keeping or removing a table of contents to stripping away all the text formatting like font and font size for instance. By default, the text from certain documents like Word documents will keep their formatting. Different types of text documents will have different options you can change. Leave all the settings that their defaults and click OK. At this point if a text frame advance selected the text would be placed in that text frame. Because nothing was selected, you will see the loaded text icon. You can either click and have a design created text frame for you, or you can draw a text frame. Starting here click and drag to create a text frame about this size. The text should be placed within the text frame you disturb. Now the heading education needs to line up with the icon to the left here. To do this you can use a few methods. In this case you will apply text formatting called space after to this paragraph. Select the type tool in the tools panel on the left. And click in the paragraph above the education heading. In the properties panel to the right of the document. You can see the default formatting for your text. Including text alignment here in the paragraph section. To see more options, click more options in the paragraph section. Formatting in the Paragraph section of the Properties panel applies Paragraph Formatting the selected text, which means any of the formatting options you see in this panel. Applies to an entire paragraph even if just the cursor is in the paragraph. Find a space after value and click the up arrow to increase the space after the paragraph. Space after or space before are both great ways to change the spacing between paragraphs because you have complete control over how much spacing is applied. If you were to simply press return or enter with the cursor at the end of the paragraph to add a paragraph return. By default, you cannot control how big that space is. Stop clicking the arrow in the education heading mostly aligns with the icon to the left. Now to deselect the text choose edit. Deselect all. To see the design with art all the frame edges and the guidelines out here. Come to the bottom of the tools panel on the left. Press and hold down on the screen mode button and choose preview. This is a great way to take a step back so to speak and look at your work. Press and hold on the screen mode button again. And this time choose normal. You can also press the letter W when the cursor is not in text to toggle between normal mode and preview mode. Now you know how to import text from a program like Microsoft Word. You can place all kinds of tax documents you receive that can be hugely helpful when you are collaborating with others. Import text bring text files into Adobe InDesign from Microsoft Word, and more. What you learned. Import text text can be pasted, dragged, or placed into an InDesign document from an outside source, such as Microsoft Word. Text can be placed in an existing text frame or in a frame that InDesign created when placing the text. Choose file place to place a text file such as .doc, .rtf, or .txt. Depending on the file type, you may be able to set options, such as removing the formatting. Click to place the text in an existing text frame or click, or click and drag, to have InDesign create a text frame. 
Click the screen mode button at the bottom of the toolbox to choose preview and see the document without guides. Click the same button to choose normal. 9 to deselect the text choose edit. Deselect all. To see the design with art all the frame edges and the guidelines out here, come to the bottom of the tools panel on the left press and hold down on the screen mode button and choose preview. This is a great way to take a step back, so to speak and look at your work. Press and hold on the screen mode button again and this time choose normal. You can also press the letter W when the cursor is not in text to toggle between normal mode and preview mode. Now you know how to import text from a program like Microsoft Word. You can place all kinds of tax documents you receive that can be hugely helpful when you are collaborating with others. Here we go we are done for today. Do not forget to leave your comment down below to help me to improve the content of the channel. See you next time. Goodbye.